Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's get in foodie with Ashley. Today we are doing a brunch thing. I'm doing chilaquiles rojo, chilaquiles rojo with carne asada in it. I mean, some people put eggs on it and stuff like that, but I don't know, I just didn't want to put eggs. And I'm doing mimosas and we are doing that TikTok drink they have with tequila rose. It's like a tequila rose, but it's, um, or, oh no, it's a tequila sunrise, sorry tequila sunrise and we're gonna try that out just to make it a little interesting since the food isn't that complicated this week um i hope everybody's having a good sunday hopefully a new beginning to a new week and be sure y'all are liking and subscribing and sharing so first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna my apron my little apron Hi, your apron. All right, now I'm gonna show you the ingredients. We have one teaspoon of oregano. Can't really see it, but one teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of caldo tomate, the red one. We got Everglaze seasoning. Two teaspoons of minced garlic. One teaspoon of chipotle. Half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese one teaspoon of kosher salt i don't know how much but this is cooked olive oil i don't know how much really to this board to the top um and we have oh we have in the beginning of the video there's a zoomed in clip of all of this we have a tomato we have like six chiles de arbor we have mm, six chiles of the new mexico dried chili have a, a piece of some onion, one jalapeno, two serranos. That's gonna be for our sauce. Then we have carne asada. It's fajita, but carne asada, it's already marinated. And then we have corn tortillas. All right, first, corn tortillas. All right, so the first thing we are going to do, we are gonna get our sauce ready. So back behind me, I have a sa saucepan. Not a saucepan, I mean like just a regular, I don't know, maybe it's a saucepan, I'm not very good with the technical term. So we're gonna put that in there, right there. And then we're gonna put to make the onion, dried chiles, chiles arbor in there, serranos, the jalapeno, and the tomato. Put that in there. Put it all in there. Um, I can't turn on my faucet because I don't have my other stuff right there. So I'm just gonna put a bottle of water in there. You can put regular faucet water, you can put whatever water you want. But I just can't reach my faucet. Oh, I could, but I have to move everything around, you know, so. We are just going to uh, pour this up. Some water. Water, water. And we're gonna put it on this pan thing right here. Turn it on high, let it start bubbling. Um, next, we'll start putting some, doing our chips for the, for the chilaquiles. We have our corn tortillas. We have our corn tortillas. Let me move you all closer so we can see exactly what I'm doing. All right. All right, now we're gonna get, um, Let's just do four corn tortillas. Oh, one corn tortilla. Get one corn tortilla at a time. So get our corn tortilla. We're gonna do these in the air fryer. You can cook them in grease or whatever you want, but I thought it'd be cool to see how we, they came out in the air fryer. So you get your little brush and then you put oil on the tortilla. Put some seasoning on it. I'm putting Everglades on it just to see what it does. It's like a like kind of like a season salt basically we just put it on there and then you are going to then we are going to put i won't cut it yet let's put another one on top put some oil on it flip it put some seasoning on it Just to give them flavor so they won't put another one on it. So we can put the air fryer, fill up the air fryer with them. Yeah. 
one more flip it flip it and reverse it I wonder how many um somebody messaged me on my Instagram if y'all tried last week's um pulled pork sliders um my Instagram I will put it in the description for this week's video just so you know Maybe everybody just send me a DM or something about who has tried the recipes so we can see, you know, if, you know, see what y'all do. And also, if y'all have tried, done them, let's try to put it in, tag, put them in your story and tag me in it. That would be really cool just to see how much people like the recipes. So I'm going to. Spray you the thing in the air fryer with olive oil and I'm just gonna set these in here to see what happens obviously we have to change it up in a minute we will but let's just see how good this really works <laughs> That's weird. put it in there let's put it at I'll put it at five minutes and then if we have to there you go all right Get a paper plate, put some napkins on it, so you can put the chips on it. That's what I would do. Oh, you can put it in a bowl, you can put it wherever you want, but I'm gonna put it in a pit. Alright, let's put them in there for another. Three minutes. See how they look those were good but some of them are still soft and then i turned it up to 360 so I'll, in a minute i'll tell you exactly what, what temperature i'm doing and how much time so you can know for sure four minutes all right let's wait a second Okay, now they're done. Look how good that is. Okay, so we did it for... I'm going to put them for... From now on, y'all should do... Well, what I'm going to tell y'all, and I'm going to do... Put it at 360 degrees for 7 minutes. There's our first batch. So I'm going to put another batch in. I mean, also, you don't have to do it in the air fryer. Like, obviously, you can um, make them in one of deep soup pans, one of those pans, or a deep saucepan. Like, whatever is good for you is what you should do. But I usually burn myself with that much grease, so I'd rather just do it in the air fryer. Okay. So I'm going to put these back in there. And like I said, we're going to do it for 360 for eight minutes. All right. 
our first batch, look how hard and crispy they are. They're gonna be so good with the chilaquiles. The whole point of chilaquiles is to be crispy, I guess. I really don't know the origin of them or who made them up, but this is how I'm gonna do mine. So now, now we are going to make the mimosas. So right here I have this thing, I got it one more. I have like a little chalkboard thing. I put Sunday fun day on it. It's pretty cool. Excuse me. So we're going to put this here. And then I got these little Remy Martin champagne things. You can use any champagne you want. I'll get this here with Rosa. So I'm just going to put that all in there. I really didn't make much of anything. Maybe I should have thrown it in there with the espuma. I was scared to get Remy Martin. I thought it was gonna be the ones, like the bigger bottles, you have to pop the cork. And I didn't wanna make a fool of myself trying to pop it. Good, I mean, it's... Well, that's just two bottles. Let me get the other two, might as well. They came in this cute little six pack thing. It's pretty cute. Obviously, do not drink this unless you are a 21. probably say that in my other videos too though. we here now so I better late than never there's one <clears throat> someone DM me what kind of what kind of juice y'all like with y'all's mimosas I usually, I'm a, usually a pineapple girl, pineapple, but at Rouse's, I found this, this peach juice. I thought, how fun would that taste good? That would taste so good. So, I'm going to pour some juice up in there. Let this go down a little bit. I'm gonna put some strawberries in there. These are fresh, like, they sell these cut like that at Rouse's. Put two in my glass, just to be honesty. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Get one, and cut it. Oh cut it down the middle. Oh no, she didn't. Oh no, she didn't. Look at that, looks cute. I'm gonna put a little juice in mine since I don't Okay. And now I'm gonna pour my. This is so cute. Look, um, look at that. Looks so good. All right, here's for the taste test. It's so freaking good. I usually drink with pineapple juice. I don't like the pineapple orange one, but I found this peach one, and man. That smacks. A little bit more juice. Put that to the side, girl. I'm gonna put some strawberries in there just to make it look cute. I had a low oh, and here's a lid, but you can even put a lid on it. Oh, it's freaking adorable. Mine says Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Alright, we're definitely gonna keep this right here. Put the strawberries to the side. Good. And I'll be right back. Alright, let's get another drink. Now I'm going to show you the... We're going to let it boil for a while. All this stuff needs to become soft. All the vegetables and stuff need to be soft. Alright. So you shake them up a little bit. They won't get stuck together. Right, while we're waiting for the chips. Oh, maybe if y'all haven't noticed, I cut my hair. It used to be like to right here. Like, like right here, straight up. 
I cut like maybe like seven inches off. I don't know why I did it, but this morning I was trying to curl my hair with the wand. Luckily, my friend Elizabeth, my bestie Elizabeth, gave me a smaller barrel, so it makes it a little bit easier, but still burning myself until I get used to it. I don't know. People do say you, when a woman changes her hair, she's going to do something, which I'm not going to say I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm new, but I just needed a change for something to make me feel a little better about myself. I don't know. Who knows if it was a good idea or not, but obviously I can't glue it back on and you'll grow a tear. A tear. I hope everybody else is having a great month of March. March Madness. Um, March is good. I mean, it's summer. Summer's coming up. Chloe, my baby Chloe will be two years next, two years old next month. So there's that. Now I feel like I'm getting old. Like my oldest daughter will be ten in July, and she's getting double digits. Like I can remember when she was one, and now she's hitting double digits so when they say time goes by and enjoy your time with your kids they that is a true statement because i don't even i can't believe she's already going to be 10 years old like i'm going to have a 10 year old next thing you know i'm going to have a 15 year old and i'm going to be like and the worst part about it let me tell you the worst part about it when you were younger and your mom would be like oh you're going to pay for everything you did when you were little how you acted with me and everything your kids are going to have the same attitude literally Aubrey and Chloe have the same attitude as me. Like, it's gonna be rough. It's, it's gonna be a rough situation. Chloe already is a a daredevil. Let me just push. She pushes her limit and her limit and limit, and she's she's a mess. The littlest one they say is a mess, but uh, um, I guess I'm for real in for it now. Like my mom was right. I'm in for it. Hope everybody else is enjoying. It. Easter's coming. Hope y'all are gonna have a good good Easter. I think I'm probably staying here because I don't want to go home and then come back and then waste some money going home and then I get laid off the next week. So I'm gonna just wait a little bit, wait it out, and then I'll go home. We can do Easter again. I mean, you don't have to be specific all the time. These mimosas, by the way, are fire. What's the fun of that? Oh, yeah. You hear that crunchiness? A little ASM. I'm gonna throw some more tortillas in there. I'm gonna start cooking my meat because time is getting away from us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna put 10. I'm gonna get all close to the stove so that we can. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there. Turn on your stove. Put it on seven. Put this meat on there. Probably not gonna make them. Oh, I will. Just little strips. This is fajita meat. This foot. This is fajita meat that I got from a carnicería here in, um, no, in Baton Rouge. I got this gotten it from a carnicería in Baton Rouge, and it already came marinated, so it's really good already marinated. It's thin meat, thin fajita meat cut thinly, so it's not going to be like, you have to wait a whole long time for it to cook, but obviously do let it cook to its own pace. Do not, just don't try, you know, don't put it up high, then you burn it, because then that would be pointless. I'm gonna get a fork and poke the vegetables. Oh, see, the tomato's still so. Flip the tomato over. Yeah. Let that, that needs to boil. See how hard it was still, but this is the one I want. It's just still pretty hard. It needs to. Meat. I don't think the meat will take us too long, but we'll see. Flipped it. Put it on high. I've already seen the meat go in, and I am obviously done with my mimosa. We are going to do the viral TikTok tequila sunrise drink. And I saw this on TikTok, and I was like, 
I gotta, I gotta do a little video over it because it, it looks so good. I have, I haven't tried it, but we are gonna try it together here on camera. You will need a Corona. You will also need some lemons, lime, sorry, limes, some grenadine, and some orange juice, and a shot of tequila, which I will be giving that right now. I've never, I've, I've never tried the tequila, but look, it's, the bottle is just so pretty. Like, I, I, tequila blanco, it says, corazón, tequila corazón blanco. Significant estate tequila. Sorry, my bottle is in Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco, Mexico. My dad is from there. So we have this. So the first thing is you have to open your Corona. So, open the front. You have to drink it to like at least right here. So. Not me chugging on camera. Okay, now we're gonna put. Did you hear that? That's my favorite sound ever. Some tequila in there. The point is getting it inside the whole book. Ooh, she a bartender or whatever. And now we're going to put some orange juice in there. I didn't say precise measurement, I just put it like right there. So I still gotta put green, and then you put grenadine in it. Okay, so I put some grenadine in it. It looks fire already though. And then you squeeze a lime and push it in. My limes have no juice. Don't ask me where I got these two, I don't remember. You put it. Oh. Uh, should we put the wine in there? Uh. Okay. Oops, made a mess. But now you go like, ooh. Go like this with your thumb. How you mix it, I guess. I don't know. I saw them do it on camera. I saw them do it out on camera too. And now for the taste test. But look how pretty it looks. So let's try it. That's really good. That is very good, actually. So good, actually. All right, let me put this up. Our meat back in a pool of beer. Put our orange juice in. <coughs> <coughs> to the side. Now I'm going to take y'all back over here to look at the meat. Meat is cooking. I lowered the temperature too down so I can calm down. Let's look at this right here. Almost. Oh yeah. The I'm sure everything else is off, but I have to make sure that tomato is off. After these next chips are done, we will work on the sauce. Hold on, I think we need to give this meat like five more minutes. And then I'll take it off and we gotta let it rest before we cut it. Now we're gonna turn off the meat. And we are gonna put it on the cutting board to rest. I'm gonna leave it there to rest.
then we're gonna wait for the we're gonna let it here and rest and then we're about to start on the salt do the salt so you get your bullet I'm going to take the vegetables off of the <coughs> I'm going to put Tomato in there. Put the whole thing. Ow! Be careful because that water is freaking hot. So just be very careful, guys. I just burnt the crap out of my hand. Ha! Huh. Burn myself again. Jesus Christ. I'm, I mean, I'm a good cook, but bro, I don't. I'm very uncoordinated, very clumsy, very YOLO ish. I'm like, oh, it's not going to burn, but then it burns, and I'm like, dang, Ashley. Heck is wrong with you, girl. And as you're putting it in there, it's putting some of the water in it that it was boiling with. So that's always a plus. So now, ow, Jesus, these jalapenos are freaking. Obviously, they're gonna be hot because they're right off the stove. But look, see, now I put. You're gonna put the the one teaspoon of oregano. It, the the sauce is the seasoning. That's just point and blank. The one teaspoon of chipotle. Rojo caldo flavoring. Minced garlic. And the kosher salt. The sauce makes the chilaquiles. Always remind yourself that. The sauce makes the chilaquiles. So now I'm going to put the lid on. I mean, obviously all of y'all probably have like a big old blender at home, but I have this little bullet. I think it was my sister's, but then I went over when I was working in Plaquemine when I drove back home to Texas. And I asked my mom if I could have it, and she was like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and then it always, I always make a mess of dead A. Really the sauce is done. Pop the lid. That stuff is hot. I can smell it. So now I'm going to take you to the stove because I'm going to sift it through this so that all the seeds and the extra skin of the chile can come in here. And I just go like this. Because you don't want any of the extra stuff from the chile, the seeds that you missed. Which I did really good when I DC to these, so look, there's nothing really. But just to make sure you don't have no seeds, no nothing left there. And then you leave it like, make sure everything comes out. And then you're going to cook it in the grease on low that was left in there. Just on low, not like something dramatic. The meat has rested, so now we are going to chop it up. I'm just gonna do it in like little pieces like that. Now the meat's all cut up. Now I am going to get my fine dining plate. I am going to put some 
some chips. A little bit of meat. And sauce. Obviously, the real way you do it is that you put the chips in the sauce and then add the meat so it can be all together. But I don't want to make all the chips salty if I'm just going to eat a little bit. It's just me here. So I'm going to mix it all in. Just for a whole bunch of people, you'd put all the chips in the saucepan where you put the sauce back and you add the meat and add the cheese on top. But it's just me, so I'm just going to mix it like this. I'll make sure all my chips are covered in the sauce, my meat. And it's probably gonna be super hot because the chile árbol, this like the chile árbol is really hot. So, and I put th like six of those, and then a serrano. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking honestly, but when you're making your recipe, don't put as much serrano if you're not a spicy person. Okay, so now they're all covered up, and then I'm gonna add some cheese, and I'm going to move you all back to the stand so that. And we can do a taste. This is the finished product. Looks so good, huh? All right, let's see. I'm gonna drink of this tequila center again. I wanna get a piece. Chips, meat, and the sauce. Fire. Spicy. Crunchy. All right, guys. This is it with the episode. I hope you all try, recreate. I hope you all are having have a wonderful week. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button so you know every time I post a video. And that is it. Y'all have a good weekend. Rest of y'all Sunday.